Last week, continuing our month of Batman videos, we talked about the origin of the bat signal and how you correctly pronounce Raz al Ghul, Raish al Ghul, Raz. Ah, let's see what you guys had to say. Let's start it off with the bat signal video. So a quick refresher, we've talked about how uh, the bat signal was inspired, or at least said to be inspired, by a real life sky projector created by my favorite person in all of history, Harry Grindel Matthews. But Alec Mason said in the comments that we kind of missed something, and that was uh, The Bat. There's a 1926 movie called The Bat, which did feature a flashlight with a bat symbol on it that very much resembled the bat signal. It wasn't shined at the sky though, but it was, you know, it kind of had that same kind of, kind of aesthetic. They comment that that movie uh, as the inspiration for the bat signal holds up more than the sky projector, but I would say it's not one or the other. It could probably be a combination of both. This is something that we talk about all the time on the show, and that is ideas and creativity come when you combine multiple things, multiple influences, and create something new. And since the bat movie and the sky projector came out around the same time, both before the, uh, the premiere of the bat signal in the comic book, it's probably not unlikely that uh, the creator Creators of the Bat Signal saw both of those as inspirations, put them together, and were like, yeah, you know what? Let's make a Bat Signal like the Bat Movie, but project it into the sky like the Sky Projector. So yeah, that's a great point. One thing I do want to make a note of with this particular comment is it almost seems like uh, you're trying to get me to talk about how the creators of Batman weren't creative and they were just taking things from other people, to which my response is, well, yeah. Obviously, that's how everything's created. And again, I don't want to spend too much time on this because we have addressed this in a previous video before, which I'll link up there. But basically the short of it is nothing is original. And so yeah, I could sit here and talk about how Batman was inspired by all these other things, but I mean, everything was inspired by something that came before it. And I'm not trying to put words in your mouth if that's not what you're trying to get across with this comment. It just kind of seemed that way from my perspective. And I get these kind of comments a lot talking about how, you know, a certain character was a ripoff of something else. But in my mind, it doesn't really matter. But I understand that for these real origin videos, because we're supposed to be tackling, you know, why things were created, what they were inspired by, that, yeah, that information, which I didn't actually know, is actually uh, is very valuable. So thank you for writing this comment. Nico Vira writes an amazing comment uh, talking about Jim Gordon and Batman and how the bat signal is kind of like, uh, it, it, it kind of binds their relationship a little bit. Because while to the public and to criminals and even to Gordon, the bat signal shining in the sky means Batman, right? Batman is out there. To Batman, when he sees it shining in the sky, it really just means Gordon. Gordon needs me, I need to go to Gordon and see what he wants. Of course, the person on the other end of the bad signal isn't always Gordon, but most of the time it is. They also talk about the dichotomy of how Batman represents the darkness and Gordon represents the light, even so much so that his reflections and his glasses are, are very present a lot of the time. Even the light at the end of his cigarette. And boy, this makes me just want to do a whole episode talking about the relationship between Gordon and Batman. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you so much for writing this comment. And you know what? You're gonna get this week's Nerd Sync No Prize. Congratulations. You did it. You did the thing. To Noah Graf and the rest of you guys who don't live in America, I apologize for not being uh, as consistent as I would like to be when taking units and making sure that we convert them also into metric. That's something that we should really uh, get better at. And I cannot believe that I didn't do that for this episode. There was a section that I'd cut out of the video where I actually talked about his wealth, Harry Grindel Matthews and how much money he had. And I took the time to convert it from pounds uh, to US dollars. But then when it came to the weight of the sky projector, I, for some reason, didn't want to take it in the opposite direction. I saw pounds and I didn't want to convert it to metric. So I, I apologize for that. We're going to try to get uh, a lot better about that. Last thing we'll talk about with the bat signal uh, came from Eden Zadok, Raz and Spear, a couple other people who pointed out that the bat signal is kind of stupid in the fact that it alerts criminals that Batman is coming, which I would say is kind of the point, right? Batman wants the criminals to know that he's out there, right? That's something that uh, Gordon talks about in The Dark Knight. Sometimes he shines the light in the sky 
not because Batman is coming, but because it's supp it's supposed to alert criminals that he's just out there. And do you really want to press your luck? But I do applaud the use of superior Spider-Man quotes because I love that comic so, so much. Now let's change gears and talk about the alter ego video about how to correctly pronounce Ra's al Ghul. And according to a poll we did on that episode, 52% of you guys do pronounce it Ra's, uh, whereas 28% say Raish. I myself fall into the 18% of you guys that flip-flop kind of between the two. I'll say Raz or Raish, depending on whatever. It's completely arbitrary to me. But I also know that DK has something to say about the episode, so take it away, good sir. Hey guys, it's DK. I'm still getting over this cold. I look like crap. I sound like crap. Let's get into the comments. Robo Batman and Ultron AI both had the same comment, uh, and uh, they're absolutely correct. When I put on the Arabic lettering for Ra's al Ghul, uh, for whatever reason, I just copied and pasted it, but I didn't realize that Adobe Premiere, the program that I edit videos with, uh, reversed the order of all the characters, so it just looks like gobbledygook. It's not, it doesn't mean anything at all. What was on screen was this, it should have looked like this. That's my fault for not realizing that they were different at all. And the other thing that I wanted to comment on, both Tarek Ramadan and Quentin Marshall mentioned, that uh, the way that I said Ra's al Ghul, the Arabic way, is technically not correct, and they're absolutely right. That's still an Americanization of it. Um, but it's the most common Americanization of it, so that's the one that I went with. If I were to pronounce it in the most correct Arabic that I can do, it would be Ra's al Ghul. Um, it, the apostrophe after the R-A creates a glottal stop, so it's like Ra, Ra, Ra's, Ra's al Ghul. Um, it's completely different and no one ever pronounces it that way in any Batman media at all So I thought that it would make most sense to not mention it another pronunciation note that I wanted to quickly mention is with the Hebrew I went with uh, a rolled alveolar trill, which is like a r like so rosh instead of the uvular fricative Which is rosh rosh uh, So it'd be rosh and rosh as opposed to rosh and rosh Small, picky thing, but people were commenting on it, and I wanted to acknowledge it. And there you have it, another Tales from the Comments episode in the bag. A couple housekeeping notes. We have a brand new episode of the Nerd Sync podcast out today. I go a little bit more in depth about Harry Grindel Matthews. If you are as in love with the man as I am, you're not going to want to miss that. Links are in the description down below. We also had another edition of our Nerd Sync newsletter come out yesterday, which is also very exciting. If you didn't know that we had a newsletter or you're not signed up for it, you can do so going to nerdsyncnews.com. That will also be in the description down below. And of course, if you didn't watch the videos from last week, go ahead and click right here to see the real origin of the bat signal and how it's tied to a mad scientist who also invented a death ray. Or click right here to learn how to pronounce Ra's al Ghul. Thanks so much for all the great comments and we will see you on Wednesday for another video. See ya.